Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, um, what do you do when you have the opportunity to hurt your adversaries? You know, the people that you really don't like and that have maybe gone out of their way to hurt you. Uh, what do you do when you have the chance to take revenge on your enemy? See, it's a question we all need to struggle with, and we're looking at the life of King David, and he sets an amazing example in 1 Samuel 26. Now, uh, what happened was, uh, once again, Saul and his men are trying to uh, hunt down David and kill him, and so they're both in the same area in the wilderness, and uh, Saul and his army uh, camp, and then uh, David and his men see them camp there. Now, Saul and his army outnumber David's men probably 10 to 1, but uh, David says, I'm going to go down into the camp. Who's going with me? And uh, Abishai I, uh, volunteers. And they go down in the camp. And God causes the Israelite army to fall into a deep sleep. So nobody wakes up. Even the guards weren't awake. And David walks in. And right there is King Saul and uh, uh, his general, uh, Abner. And, and uh, the guy with David says, hey, let me take the spear, Saul's spear, and pin him to the ground. One blow and it's all over. And David says, no, not going to do that. We've already covered this. He had the opportunity once before. I'm not going to touch God's anointed. But he takes Saul's spear and he takes Saul's water jug. You know, they didn't have the big mugs like we have today. Uh, and uh, took it up. And then when he got across uh, a ways from them, he yelled and woke them up. And he explained what he ha had the opportunity to do and did not. And he even said, send one of your young men over and I'll give Saul his spear and water jug back. And at that point, Saul repented and said, obviously, you're a better man than me and God's going to bless you. And I know that's true. And I'll stop chasing you. And that was the end of Saul's uh, trying to kill David. And uh, uh, so Saul left and, and David went his own way and continued to live out in the wilderness. But um, what can we learn by this? Twice, David could have easily killed Saul and he didn't. Verse 23. Um, here's what David says. The Lord rewards every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness. For the Lord gave you into my hand today, and I would not put out my hand against the Lord's anointed. Behold, as your life was precious this day in my sight, so may my life be precious in the sight of the Lord, and may he deliver me out of all tribulation. See, David understood you're going to reap what you sow, and he said, I'm going to show mercy so that uh, I get mercy. So David, again, respected God's authority and God's ability to act on his behalf. He didn't take matters into his own hand. He trusted God to do it. Uh, and by the way, the Apostle Paul challenges us to do the same in Romans chapter 12. The Apostle Paul has the audacity to say this to us. He says, do not take your own revenge, but leave room for the wrath of God. For vengeance is mine, says the Lord, I will repay but instead, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. In so doing, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Ah, I like that picture. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, Jesus uh, summed it up probably the best uh, anywhere. In Matthew 5, he says, You've heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. David, a man after God's own heart, doesn't take revenge. Apostle Paul, who was a great servant of God, tells us not to take our own revenge, leave, let God handle it. And Jesus affirms all of that by saying, hey, look, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. Let's live differently because we serve and believe in the living God. Hope that helps. Hope that blesses you today.